And today we are going to be making something super fun called a super vacuum cleaner. So exciting. But before we get started, we're going to introduce ourselves, okay? Oh yeah, I see Leo has his already, cool Leo. Before we introduce ourselves, we're gonna learn something called STEAM. And what STEAM is, it means different subjects coming together and we're going to be creating something with these different subjects. So we have science, we have technology, engineering, mathematics, arts, yes. mathematics. Exactly, Leo. Good job. Leo, do you like mathematics? Yeah. Uh, science, technology, engineering, art, mathematics. Mathematics. Exactly. Science engineering. Science engineering. Science. Science technology engineering mathematics. It's actually STEM. Right, but this is actually a little different. So it's science, technology, engineering, art, and mathematics. Okay, so there's five, five letters. STEAM. S T E A M. Zoe, do you have a question? Yes, I like I like I like drawing even I like mathematics. Oh fun, awesome. So what we're gonna be doing, thanks for sharing, Zoe and Leo, just make sure your mic is off. And if you have a question, you can raise your hand, okay? So we're gonna be doing things. We're gonna see these pictures that looks like a little hand. We're gonna be thinking using our what's that called? Leo, nice raising your hand. Brain. Our brain. And we're going to be does anybody know what this is? What this word is? Leo. Speak. Good job. We're going to be using our voices, right? We're going to be talking a lot. All right. Awesome. Thanks, Leo, for sharing. And I love how Zoe and Helen are ready to work. So let's get to know each other a little bit. Okay. I'm going to introduce myself. My name is Mrs. Coleman, and I've been teaching for 10 years, all different subjects. And my favorite subject to teach is reading. I love reading, but I also love science. And it's super, oh, I like it, Leo. You found a connection? Awesome. Yeah, we have, I do that in my classroom too. Um, we can do that as a connection. I like that, Leo. Um, so I'm so excited to be here with you all today. And I usually teach children that are in kindergarten to fourth grade. So I have lots of experience teaching all different types of children. Um, and I'm very excited to be here. Who would like to give me their name, the school they go to, and maybe something that you want to share about yourself? Oh, Helen, can we're going to be? So, uh, so Tip Ball has a problem, and it looks like I got a new email. So let's check my email and see what the problem is. So this is Tip Ball. And before I start, I want you to think about why his name is Tip Ball ball. Okay, think about that and then we'll talk about it. Oh, sorry. Hello everyone. I'm Tip Ball. I'm in primary school. It's time to go home. My dog must be waiting for me. I can't wait to play with him. Hey Lucky, I'm back. I miss you. Oh my god. Is this my home? There are papers everywhere. Lucky, what have you done? Mom and Dad will be mad at you. What can we do now? Dear classmates, can you help me clean up the paper pieces? Okay, so, oh my goodness, look at this mess. <gasps> wow, wow, that is, a, that, let me read this sentence. I can help you. How does the garbage get into this pipe? Wow, that was beautiful reading, Helen. Excellent job. So, Helen, how does this garbage get into this pipe? What happens? What is that called when the garbage goes... I'm thinking of a word that starts with the letter S. It sucks in the pipe. 
Zoe, thanks for helping. Helen, did you hear Zoe? She said it sucks up into the pipe. Do you agree with her, Helen? Mm. Does the garbage suck into the pipe? Yeah, it uses yeah. kind of like, um, wind or some air to suck. Right, so let's look. Oh, I see the, you mean the electricity. Right, I see the this little label here. So let's see what that is. Oh, look what it does. Blow. Everybody, I want you all to blow. Ready? One, two, three, blow. <laughs> it blows up into the pipe, right? It sucks it in. All right. What about this, Leo? Can you read this sentence for me? What the... What's the use of this part that's made of plastic? This part is used when grown-ups can't kind of go down. They could use this long piece to hold it, kind of like yeah, holding it. Exactly. Okay. So it, so you're holding it, right, Leo? What else could this be called? It's called a hand handle. A handle, right? You have to be able yeah. to hold it so you can vacuum your house. Because if you don't have a handle, you won't be able to vacuum. Excellent. So through our observations, we discovered that in order to make a vacuum cleaner, we need a part that stores garbage. Number two, Zoe, would you like to read number two for us? Help us today, okay? So we have, we're going to make sure we have all these materials by us so we can easily grab them when we're ready. Found the battery box and what else? So you're gonna open the battery box. Okay. See how the person slid their finger on top, the little grooves. All right, while Zoe's opening her batteries, I'm just gonna show the next step. So um okay. oh. so we have something called double stick tape. Yeah, I have it. This Perfect, you're gonna use just a little piece, so one little square of double stick tape. And you're, and you're gonna put it, I'm gonna show you. See how it's underneath the motor? Like it should be over here. Let me see. Can you put it up a little closer to your screen, Leo, so I can't see? Yeah, you're gonna put it on the bottom um, actually, where the switch is, you're going to put it on that side. You're going to put it on the edge, a piece of double stick tape, and then you're going to stick the motor on top. Okay? Okay. Make sure your fan is out. Okay. Show you how that works. Yeah, I've got it. I think so. See? In the next picture? Yep. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Can't wait when it's finished. In your hand. And on the count of when I say three, two, one, you're going to start vacuuming up your feet. You ready? Three, two, one. Start vacuuming. And when you're finished cleaning, raise your hand. Let's see if it gets all your pieces. So let's think about this. What can be done to make our vacuum cleaners work a little bit better? Does anybody have any ideas? Leo. Kind of just to make a pipe or and to make it kind of like a big container because mine is kind of like too small because the paper's all in the back so when it, the boy turns, it's kind of like it swipes out paper. I like that. So maybe make it a little bit bigger and add a pipe. Does anybody have any other ideas? And then put something in the front of the blade so the paper wouldn't go in the blade so it could just directly go. Great. Does anybody have any other ideas of how to make our vacuum cleaner work better? Okay. So one thing that they told us is we could add some gauze. So you, you might have some gauze in your kit. And what they did, Leo, look at the screen. They put gauze around the top so the garbage doesn't fly out of the top of the vacuum. Yeah, I didn't have that one. Yeah, if you, don't, if you don't have it, you can maybe find some in your house and put it around. Yeah, but well, I, I tested it with these kind of papers and it worked if we- Oh, great. It so we could clean up the mess. All right, so we have, this is showing us some old vacuum cleaners, right? 
And now we have these really cool vacuum cleaners that hundreds of scientists and engineers have been working on for decades. And this is the latest Dyson vacuum cleaner. I actually just bought one of these. They're really fun and they're cordless and they're super cool. And these are the new vacuum cleaners that everybody has, that a lot of people have. So it turns out that the beautiful advanced vacuum cleaners we use now was improved bit by bit from the never perfect prototype. And we just made a prototype, which is a sample of our vacuums. So the next thing we wanna write a letter to Tipball and tell him what we did today. So with this mind map is how to make a vacuum cleaner. And I'd like to share with you the process and ideas of our class. I hope we have helped you with the mess created by your dog. So the problem in the beginning of our story was what happened? Absolutely. The dog, what did the dog do, Leo, in the beginning of our story? The, the problem was that the dog was kind of like ripping out paper all over the place. Exactly. And the kid spawn needed a vacuum to clean it up. Right. So we. Well, he doesn't have one. So we made one. For exactly. Him. So we're telling Tipple that we solved the problem so we could use a broom, a mop, oh, a sweep robot, which we didn't really talk about. We also make a vacuum cleaner, which we did today. And we, the air and the wind helped us. The blowing and the fan. One second, Lee, I'll answer your question. One second. And then we had the motor that helped us, right? And it created, it can help with an electrical fan and a vacuum cleaner. Some vacuum cleaners are too noisy. Those are some of the problems, right? Yeah. Or too small, like Leo said, our vacuum was a little too small. Maybe we'll make it a little bit bigger next time. And then we have another problem. What's another problem that we can maybe encounter with a vacuum cleaner? Yeah, Leo. What could happen with the paper? Maybe the paper would kind of like blow out when the, the blade is spinning and catch in more. Exactly. The paper could leak out of the vacuum, right? And we talked about how the gauze can help us. Excellent job, everyone.